Thank you so much for joining me today. My name is Sharon Rogers and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator from Wells, Maine. And this is my Valentine's series. I've created this four part series to give you options for creating quick and easy and inexpensive treat holders so that you can give a lot of love and a lot of treats away this Valentine's season. Let's get going. One of my favorite products in the January to April 2024 mini catalog is this Be My Valentine bundle. It comes with a stamp set that has sentiments and bee related uh, parts to it. You can build a bee here um, as well as add flowers and, and hearts and faces to your bee, which is lots of fun. But it also comes with this bee builder punch. And what I love about this punch is it's not just for building bees. Of course, you can build a bee with it, and we will today. This is the body with a stinger, and this is for the wings. This is for punching out the antenna. But even without making a bee, you can have hearts that you can add to a wedding card or just an I love you card. This is great for a thought bubble or a word bubble. So somebody's saying something and you wanted to express something, you can use that alone. So don't just think of this as for making bees. But we are gonna do that today. And so I thought, what can I do that is bee related and treat related? So as I was kind of searching my options, I came across honey sticks. Now I'm not a tea drinker, but I know a lot of people are and they like to put honey in their tea. Honey is also, honey sticks are used for um, snacks in kids' school boxes. Um, There's just a, you know, a great snack to have. It's a quick pick-me-up. It's got a, you know, some, obviously some sugar content to it, but it's such a flavorful thing. And um, I did try one of these out when they came and they are yummy. So, um, and I'd love to hear the ways that you use honey, put it on your toast, all sorts of things. Let me hear in the comments what you do with these honey sticks. But for right now, we're going to create a treat holder. Let's bring in our paper trimmer and a piece of Daffodil Delight cardstock. I want something that measures five and a half inches, which this does, so this was going to be probably a card base at some point. But I also want it to measure three and five eighths in the other direction. So five eighths is just two marks past the three and a half. Now let's go ahead and stamp this. We can score it um, right now too, um, since we have our paper trimmer out, but I am going to, I'm going to stamp right now. Let's bring in a piece of scrap paper here and my Daffodil Delight. I will, you know what, and I'm not going to use Daffodil Delight for this. I'm going to stamp the honeycomb with a darker yellow crushed curry. I think that'll give um, it'll make it more noticeable. Now the center of this is what's going to be, you know, the front. Oh yeah, I like this. I'm just adding a bunch of little honeycombs, rotating my stamp, moving it off to sides. And you can fill it in however you want to. here. I don't know what's going to show what's not. So there is the base of what we're doing. I'm going to bring my paper trimmer back in. I'm going to score it one inch in from each side. Not cut. So I'm going to score one inch in from each side. And now when I fold and burnish, I'm 
I'm gonna fold those ends, ends in together. You can see that they overlap about, I don't know, three eighths of an inch maybe. It's more than a quarter. I think it's less than a half. Let's see if I can tell here. Yeah, it's about three eighths of an inch, I think. So now you can apply some tear and tape to this edge, or you can use Stamp and Seal Plus although that's a little bit harder to use and it's wider, so um, I'd probably not use the Stampin' Seal Plus for this unless you made it wider to begin with. So instead of three and five eighths, maybe you made it three and three quarters inches. But I'm gonna put just a thin bead of glue because this multi-purpose glue is a very strong hold. Now what, I, what I've done in the several times I've made this is I've forgotten to add glue along the end. And if you are using tear and tape, you definitely want to put the tear and tape down on the end in that center, center section here before you close it up because you can't put it in now, it's too late. But if you are using glue, you certainly can because you can just squeeze that end open and lay that glue right in there. Squeeze it shut. And that seals one of the ends. The other end is gonna stay open. Now I wanna put, even though it's sealed, I wanna finish this end a little bit. Years ago we had something called a crimper, which just put all those little lines in, but I'm gonna do that with my scoring blade. And I could do this if I had my Simply Scored tool instead of this paper trimmer. Anything that you use to score, you could use your, um, you know, a scoring tool and uh, a ruler to make straight lines. Let's see how this just puts in some some little decorative lines there. Just gives it a little bit of more of a finished look. So this is our holder. The end does open, and let's see how many of these honey sticks we can fit in. I think it should be about five. I don't want to force them in too much because, you know, then the honey is just going to spill out everywhere. But yeah, five fit in here pretty well. And you, you want to push them down there but they're not gonna fall out. It's a, it's a pretty snug fit, but not so snug that, um, you know, you're really risking burst sticks. So there we go, there we have our sticks. And now let's go ahead and decorate this. I'm going to bring in a piece of basic white. This is just a scrap that I had. I'm gonna stamp my B. And my bee's body is going to be in Daffodil Delight. Let me get my bee body on a block. And let's make sure that's well inked. I've used this bee a lot, and I've used it in some projects, so um, it, it mis got misstamped in, but um, it probably just needs some re-inking. I've used it so much on this bee. Now we'll go ahead and bring in the stripes, the body stripes. Let's see, that's right here. And I want to stamp that in my memento black. Oops, it came off my, my block here. I'm going to try to get over this to see if I can do it. Sometimes tricky working around that camera, but here we go, that's pretty good. Now while I have this out, I'm going to add in a face. And I'm choosing the face from the set that is the squinty eyes. I'm gonna put that right down closer to the bottom here. And then I'm going to take the antenna and put those right up above. Now the antenna 
could be punched out with this little heart. So you could put it coming off the body as well, but I chose to do it this way. And we can just flip this over so we can see where we're punching. Just looked up at my camera to make sure that the video was going. I had a moment where I thought, oh no, I'm not actually filming. So there's the bee's body. And let's go ahead and give give him some wings. Give him, give her, well, no. He's probably a worker bee, so he's gotta be a him, right? He's not the queen bee. I suppose I can make him be the queen bee if I want to. My bee, right? I'm going to bring in the little wing outline. There's also a heart in there that you can use for the wings itself. I'm just gonna do this. Um, If you color them a little bit, or if you use that other heart and punch it or stamp over it in like a balmy blue, that'll give the appearance of, you know, that'll set the wings off a little bit as well. But what you can also do is you can take a little scrap of vellum and punch the same heart. And now when you put it over, it gives it a much softer feel. Oops, I had yellow on my stamp block and it touched it. So we need to get another piece out. Parts are flying everywhere. Now to attach these, I'm gonna use something really simple. I'm gonna use glue dots. So here I have my glue dots. And I'm gonna take the back of my vellum and put it on a glue dot and then attach it to this heart. And then I'm gonna take a glue dot and put it on the front of the vellum so I can attach it to the back of the bee. So there we go. So now we have that little bee right there. Cute, huh? Now, you can either just put that on right there or you could take another piece of paper. Let's see what some of our options are. You can take some of the Be Mine paper that is part of the suite and cut a little strip maybe that goes around here. So let's just pretend we've got a little strip that's going around. We can put the bee on with that. Or you can grab some of this black and white uh, checked or gingham ribbon. And tie that around. This this spool is almost done. I think I can get a couple projects out of it though. I'm gonna just tie a little bow here on the side. You can decorate it any which way you want, really. And then we go ahead and we attach our little bee over it. That's kind of cute. Let's uh, let's attach our bee with a couple of dimensionals, I think. Now, I don't have any sentiment on here at all. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna use three of these things. So it's up to you whether or not you wanna put a sentiment on there. There's our little bee. We could put little a little love you. Now, if you're gonna stamp a sentiment on the front, you wanna make sure that you do that before you've got the honey sticks in there. And ideally, before you even put it together. Um, so if I were to get my stamp set out again, uh, maybe I do love you. This is 
not a treat that I would probably give to, say, my local McDonald's workers. Not if it says love you, but I certainly could give it to my coworkers that I love. So there we have, love you. Let me put this cover back on. And we'll put our treats in here again. Very carefully. So as not to have a mess. And so there is our cute little treat holder. What do you think? Let me know in the comments what you think of this project, if you're going to make any, and um, and where you buy your honey sticks. I bought mine on Amazon. I know that they have them at health food stores, but I have not been able to find them at local grocery stores or Walmart. So online it was for me. These were $9.99 for a package of 50. So I could get 10 of these little treat holders um, out of one package of the honey sticks, provided that I don't eat any of them. So I guess it's nine and then I have to make a treat holder for myself. I hope you've enjoyed this project. Remember, the complete list of supplies and measurements and instructions can be found on my blog at stamperhood.com. And it's not too late to get the Be My Valentine bundle. As long as you place your order by, I would say, January 25th, 2024, you should have it in time for you to be able to create some Valentine treats of your own. And of course, it's not just about Valentine's Day, and it's not just about Valentine's Day 2024, but it can go further on after that. But you can also um, bring the bees back out for spring and summer, and any time that you want to just have a little fun with that little critter. Have a great rest of your Sunday, and I will see you this Tuesday for Tune In Tuesday, right back here on my YouTube channel. Have a great week, everyone.